Hi, my name is Mike Cole, I'm the pipe fitting instructor here at JETT. Um, today we're going to go ahead and show you how to make a cut. We got some four inch pipe. I'm going to be using oxygen settling cutting rig. Now, I'm going to be using a, a beveled head on this one right here, but we're fortunate enough to have it. Some of you in the field may just be cutting with a 90 degree head, and it's something that you'll uh, just get comfortable with and use as you practice more and more with it. Now, we've got our Torch has already been leak checked, the bottles, everything's good to go. Um, I've got my regulator set at a back center length for seven. And my oxygen I'm running just a little bit under 30, maybe about 727, something like that. Um, this torch right here, I have two valves on my oxygen. One I keep open all the time. This preheat valve is what I actually turn my torch on with when I'm ready. The settling only has one. After I get my torch lit, the cutting lever I will depress fully when I'm ready to cut. Now, I was probably talked about some before in safety, proper clothing, proper eye protection, and I'm also wearing a hat to protect my head, welding cap. Um, I have some thick welding gloves. Others choose not to wear something that not quite as thick. It's all a preference and uh, what the, you're taught, what your company recommends or the job recommends. I've pre-inspected my work area for any combustibles or flammables. They've been removed, and we do have a fire extinguisher on hand here. One thing about cutting, I'm going to be cutting closer to the end right here, just giving us a good cut to start with, say if we're uh, fitting up a well fitting. Um, if we're making a few cuts here and this pipe is hot, I've learned that to take an old cutting glove and lay on that pipe right there to help protect my hand, even though I have this thick glove on, it'll still get hot and blister the side of your hand. That's just one little trick that's, it'll be helpful in the field. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear both gloves for this cut. I'll be using a striker, never a lighter. We learned that in soldering and brazing. Keep my hands away from the flame. Now I'm gonna turn my acetylene on first. I'm going to dial it to wear out until it just stops smoking. I'm going to add oxygen. And bring it back to my, that flame is gone, it's neutral now. I'll depress the cutting lever. And I've knocked that flame down to where the feathering's gone off of it. Sounds like paper shredding when it's right. If you're not hearing that, you could have a clogged tip where you need to clean the tip. Now with that lit, everything's good, I'm going to go ahead and make the cut. While you're cutting, steadiness is very important. Any kind of movement, nervousness, pipe shaking, that's going to show in that cut. So I'm going to just lay my hand on the top of the pipe as a guide, as a go around. I'm going to try, now, I'm going to try and stay as straight up as possible, parallel, perpendicular to the pipe but I may turn a little bit in so that I got a little preheat. With this cut being so close to the end, I'm gonna start from the end because it preheats faster, drag it back to the line and then make my cut. You'll see me as I come back to the line where I'm at, I'll make one motion to my right. Just to, that's a good place to finish up with when I come back around. Then I'll start moving to my left as I cut. All right, we're gonna try this from another angle now so that you can see. I've already got me in hot, came back into my line. I moved just a little bit to my right, and now I'm gonna pick up where I was at. I like to try, if I can, to start where as much far down as I can possible so that I make it as far as possible with that one cut before I stop and pull out. One thing when I first started, you'll just get used to the habit of pressing that button all the way down when you're cutting. Don't just barely move it. You want all that oxygen that you can blowing that metal out of there after it's preheated.
Now when I go to finish up, I'm gonna come right back into that line that I clean cut. Got some slag on. Cut my oxygen off first, and I've turned my acetylene off. No popping, nice cut. Now this cut right here may be cleaned up with a file, or I may clean it up later with a grinder for more bevel, that 37 and a half degree bevel that we want. So that's just something that takes practice with. It's not one of those other things you're not gonna do overnight, but with time, you'll be a nice cutter.